This video is about the structures that emerge from the periphery of parotid gland. Now here we can see this is the parotid gland, this yellowish structure. This is present below and in front of the external ear and this is the parotid duct. Usually the shape of the parotid gland is like an inverted three-sided pyramid. I have considered the different borders, surfaces of parotid gland in another video. I'll put the link of that video in the description box. Now here we are just going to look at those structures which will be emerging from the periphery. So this is the periphery of the parotid gland which can be seen from the lateral aspect. So what all is present at the periphery? So if we see superiorly, what do we have? We have the base. Right? So, we will look at the structures emerging from the base. Then, below we have the apex. So, structures emerging from the apex of the parotid gland. We will also look at the structures emerging along this border, that is anterior border and the posterior border of the parotid gland. Before we consider the structures emerging at the periphery of parotid gland, let us consider this facial nerve and its branches because a number of branches of facial nerve will be emerging from the periphery of the parotid gland. So here we can see this is the facial nerve which enters the parotid gland and within the substance of parotid gland is going to divide into its terminal branches. Let us look at the names of those terminal branches. Here we can see this is the first branch, this is temporal branch. It is obvious it is going to the temporal region. Then next we have the zygomatic branch. Again, it is very clear this is the zygomatic arch here, zygomatic bone is located here. So that's why the name zygomatic nerve. Then we have two buccal branches, upper buccal and the lower buccal. So this is the cheek area. So here we have the buccal branches. And then finally we have along the lower border of the mandible. This is the marginal mandibular and the one which reaches the cervical region that is the cervical branch. So these are the five terminal branches. Temporal, zygomatic, buccal, marginal mandibular and cervical. All these nerves we know that they supply the muscles of the facial expression. Besides these, there is another branch given from the facial nerve before it enters into the parotid gland and that emerges along the posterior border of the parotid gland and this is the posterior auricular nerve. This supplies the occipital belly of frontooccipitalis muscle. Now another structure that can be seen in this picture is this venous, these veins, right? So here within the parotid gland, we have formation of a vein known as retromandibular vein. The name itself tells you retro means behind. Behind what? Retromandibular, behind the mandible. So this vein is formed within the parotid gland. I'll describe in detail the formation, the division, the tributaries of retromandibular vein in another video. And when it reaches near the apex of the parotid gland, this vein can be seen to be divided into two divisions. So the one which is placed anteriorly obviously is anterior division and this one is the posterior division. So now let us see again which parts of the parotid gland we are going to consider when we look at the structures emerging from the periphery. So superiorly what do we have? We have the base. So structures emerging from base and this structure all of us can see here clearly that is the external acoustic meatus. Then we have downward this sharp uh, pointed more pointed uh, area here. This is known as apex of the parotid gland and then structures along its anterior border. This is the anterior border and then the structures emerging along the posterior border. So let us begin here. First, we will look at the structures emerging at the base. Now, if you look at the base, base is directed upwards. Towards which part? It is in the upper part of the face, right? So above the face, what do we have on the side? We have the temporal region. So one has to keep in mind the temporal word. So let us see it here. What are the structures that will be emerging? If you see here, this, uh, the vein and the artery, they are superficial temporal artery and superficial temporal vein. So, that because they are going to the temporal region, right? And uh, these, uh, the artery is a branch of 
external carotid artery and superficial temporal vein is going to uh, lead to the formation of the retromandibular vein so you have to remember which word here temporal right so superficial temporal vein and then superficial temporal artery let us look at another structure that is nerve so we have a neurovascular bundle here right this nerve which we can see this is auriculotemporal nerve see the temporal word is already there now we this nerve is also going to supply the auricle we have the external acoustic meters here so the auricle will be placed here so this nerve is not only supplying the skin of the temporal region it is also supplying the skin of auricle so that's why the name is auriculotemporal nerve this is a branch of mandibular nerve so now it is easy to remember here we have three structures emerging from the base or superior surface and uh, you can uh, remember them by van vein artery and nerve the vein and artery are superficial temporal artery superficial temporal vein remember the temporal word and the nerve is auriculotemporal nerve right it is easy to understand this way also that nerve has to be close to the auricle so it will be more posteriorly placed now let us look at the structures emerging along the anterior border i told you i have shown you the branches the terminal branches of the facial nerve right so let us consider which uh, branches will be emerging from here out of five branches terminal branches of facial nerve four uh, terminal branches will be emerging along the anterior border and they are we can see here this is temporal branch then we have the zygomatic branch then we have the upper and lower buccal and here we have the marginal mandibular so we have to remember there were five there are five terminal branches of facial nerve and out of that the upper four terminal branches emerge along anterior border which other structures emerge along the anterior border there is an artery so where do you place it you place it between the first and the second branch of the facial nerve right and this artery is transverse facial artery running transversely on the face this is branch of the superficial temporal artery so where will you place the artery between the first and the second branch that is temporal and zygomatic branch of facial nerves this is transverse facial artery now there is another structure which emerges here that is parotid duct so where do you place that this will be placed between the upper and the lower buccal branches of the facial nerve so we have four of the five terminal branches of facial nerve emerging along anterior border plus you have to put two more structures first is transverse facial artery which has to be between the temporal and zygomatic branch right first and second and then you have parotid duct between the upper buccal and the lower buccal branch right so these are the structures emerging from the anterior border now coming to apex right we have already seen a vein there which divides into two division so we can see here the anterior and the posterior division of retromandibular vein they will be merging plus the fifth uh terminal branch of the facial nerve which supplies platysma muscle that is the cervical branch because the apex where does it extend up to it extends up to the carotid triangle in the neck right so here the cervical branch of the facial nerve will be also emerging so these are the three structures emerging at the apex anterior and posterior division of retromandibular vein and the cervical branch of facial nerve coming to the posterior border look at the word now posterior so the first word that you have to remember is posterior now these branches you can see they'll be going like this that means they will be going behind the auricle so another word that you have to remember is auricle so the structures which will be emerging along the posterior border the words that you have to remember they will be posterior auricular now you just have to add posterior auricular vein posterior auricular artery and posterior auricular nerve this nerve is also a branch of facial nerve now here also you can see from below upwards the how the structures are arranged van v a n just remember that this is here the auricle will be placed so the nerve along the base and along the posterior border they will be closest to the auricle right they will be closer 
and then you start with van so here the vein will be anterior most here the vein will be the lower most structure so posterior auricular vein posterior auricular artery this posterior auricular artery is also a branch of external carotid artery and this posterior auricular nerve we have already seen is a branch of facial nerve so these are the structures emerging along the margins or periphery of the parotid gland right so the nerves in fact if you look at the nerves all the nerves they are branches of facial nerve except auriculotemporal nerve which is a branch of mandibular nerve right so so that's all for this video thanks for watching and if you have not subscribed please subscribe my channel so that i can put more such videos and if you want uh the questions and answers in anatomy all types of that then visit the website that is anatomyqa.com thanks once again